this workshop, the development work of the Oxy 200 started some five years ago. The product has been in the market for more than two years now, and the reception amongst our customers has been very good. The customers, though, still ask for higher output. Therefore, Simco has initiated the Bison project, where the target is to deliver a new product with increased engine output, reduced fuel consumption, reduced weight, and reduced need for service. And now we're developing the new generation diesel powered outboard with a six cylinder twin turbo 3 liter diesel engine as a basis. One of the challenges in the product has been to combine these requirements with the current and common legislation for emissions. Therefore, we have focused on one of the most modern engine family from the automotive industry. The engine family that we're working with in the Bison project ranges from three to six cylinders in line, all cast in aluminum. Another focus point in the product has been to increase the time between overhaul even further, allowing our customers to spend more time on the water. This has been a challenge. We have had to rethink under cowl conditions, thermal management and details in the transmission system. The Bison product has now reached that far that we are soon ready for the startup of the first prototype. The prototype is visible here. The complete outboard engine has never been started before. Each subsystem has been tested and approved, and now the electricians are connecting the last wires for the engine control system. My name is Andreas Blomdahl. Uh, I've been a CEO of uh, Simco since uh, June this year. Uh, I've been on the board of directors since the company was founded in 2012. I'm one of the original founders of the company. People normally bring up when you have presentations is the question on emissions, specifically now with all this uh, Volkswagen gate and uh, diesels are terrible and not environmentally friendly. But when you look at the marine side, it's, it's a quite the opposite, or the least environmentally friendly products you can actually buy on the market today is either a gasoline uh, lawnmower or a gasoline outboard. If you buy a brand new 2018 gasoline outboard, it's about the same emissions level as we had on cars back in the 1970s. When it comes to uh, diesel outboards, there is no emission regulation, so the diesel outboards uh, step into the same emission regulations as inboards and it's a much stricter control area. Well, the main characteristics that makes the OXA unique is that it's a diesel outboard. There are no other diesel outboards in the, uh, in the segment. Uh, Technology-wise, it's very different to all other outboards on the market. Uh, it looks like a regular outboard, it runs like a regular outboard, it fits the boat like a regular outboard, but underneath the shell, it's very different. It's a horizontal engine, it's got a much larger gearbox placed between the engine and the propeller shaft, and the uh, drive system between the engine and gearbox, and the gearbox and the propeller shaft is a carbon fiber uh, belt system. Uh, in the Bison project, we have inherited a lot of the design features from the old Oxy engine. Here in front of the engine, you can see one of the features. It's the air filter, and the seawater filter, and the fuel filter. Back here, you can see the, the seawater pump. And on the back of the engine you have the oil filter, easy accessible. All the service points are easy accessible from the back of the boat. Maintenance is easy. We believe that if it's difficult to maintain, user may skip it and risk failure. Now we're ready to start up the engine. Everything is controlled, all systems are checked and we are going to give the start signal to the operator.